hell, hell. All right, moving down here, we've got Once a Thief. That's a John Woo heist film I actually haven't seen. Out of Sight, Steven Soderbergh. Very stylistic, post-Tarantino film. Great movie with a great story and uh, narrative. George Clooney, J-Lo. Not bad. J-Lo's not bad in it. Set It Off, The Hughes Brothers. This is a all-female heist movie. Really cool. Sneakers. I haven't seen that movie through. It bored me to death, but I want to give it another whirl because I hear it's supposed to be really good and methodical. Sugar and Spice. That's a, uh, what, a cheerleader heist movie. So definitely want to check that out. Thomas Crown Affair. One of the few Pierce Brosnan films I haven't seen and John McTiernan films I haven't seen. Real quick, the prison movies, Attica, Bad Boys, Bronson, Human Cargo, Last Castle, Midnight Express. Really cool movie I saw as a kid. This is where all the Hungarian prison jokes come from. This guy, based on a true story, got caught with coke and uh, got sent to a Hungarian prison. Uh, you don't want to get caught with coke and get sent to a Hungarian prison. Jimmy, you ever been to a Hungarian prison? All right, so moving on to one of my favorite sections here, guys. One of the most nostalgic for me animation and then after that anime so we're going to start here with adventures of prince ahmed this is remarkable uh this is from 19 what 26 believe it or not the animation style is so ahead of its time look at that i forget what the style is called it's some sort of etching but it's so stylistic and so beautiful based on a lot of the uh, stories from arabian nights Oh, you guys have to check this out. It'll blow your mind how good the animation is. All Dogs Go to Heaven, Don Bluth. Hard for me to watch this film. We've all had animals that have passed. And, uh, you know, one day I'll conjure up the balls to watch it again. But gotta have it because it's Don Bluth. American Pop, that's Ralph Bakshi. One of, the, one of his I haven't seen. American Tale, oh man. Oh, American Tale. Absolutely love American Tale. Um... I grew up more so with Five Goes West, which is also on here. I do have this film on Blu-ray, American Tale. And uh, yeah, I, I watched Five Goes West more as a kid for whatever reason. It was just more fun for me. Whereas American Tale was more poignant. I liked the more fun as a kid, you know, ob for obvious reasons. Ants with a Z. Maybe this started the Z at the end of words being a cool fad thing. Stallone... Woody Allen. This came out around the same time as Bugs Life and got completely stomped out. No pun intended. And uh, this is a fun movie that I'm not sure is on blue. I think it might be. But DreamWorks, pre-Shrek. So they made some really underrated films pre-Shrek, which I'll get to, actually. Uh, let's see. You know, Batman Fa Mask of Phantasm, one of the best animated movies ever. Short, succinct, wonderful animation. Yellow Submarine, I haven't seen that in years. Same thing with uh, Beavis and Butthead, Black Cauldron, waiting for a Blu-ray, Disney. You piss me off so much in 2019. You keep pumping out movies four to eight times a year and neglect classics like this one. You just don't care, do you? They're monopolizing cinema. <sighs> Brave Little Toaster. Oh, God. Nostalgia just hit me like a Mack truck, folks. This one is such a beautiful and poignant childhood film of mine that is so dark and so twisted at points, but teaches you so much about life and humanity and it anthropomorphizes these characters like the lamp, toaster, blankie, and just makes you feel for them. And it really taught me how to feel empathy for, for every every creature. And... It made me really look at life in a different way. And I, I love it. I love it so much. It's got some really dark moments that really stuck with me and scarred me as a kid. But it changed me. This is one of the films that, I don't know, made me who I am. It sounds cliche, but watched that over and over. And always broke my heart when his parents were leaving and or, or the boy was leaving the house and he left all the, the appliances behind. And, oh, so sad. It sounds so ridiculous, but I... Love that movie. Uh, Care Bears the movie. Cartoon Noir. Like I said, I pick up any animated films that are made before a certain year. Chicken Run. I saw this as a kid. Uh, didn't know that it was about the Holocaust until I became an adult, but I enjoyed it as a kid, and it's pretty disturbing as an adult. As, as an adult but really important movie. Really good. Chinese Ghost Story. This is actually a Chewy Hark animated film. I believe he produced it. And uh, it's an ancient 
uh, Chinese myth- mytho- mythology sort of story. Haven't seen this, but look at the colorful vibrancy of the of the artwork here and the you know, the character designs and how unique they are. Can't wait to check this out. It looks just beautiful in terms of the colors. So really cool to have a Chinese animated film. You don't see those often. Chuck Jones, some Christmas classics, the ones I don't have on Blu-ray. Cool World. This is uh, Ralph Bakshi's attempt at doing a edgier Roger Rabbit sort of film. And he does an alright job. It's nowhere near as good as Roger Rabbit. But Brad Pitt, Gabriel Byrne, Kim Basinger. Not bad. I still enjoy watching this from from time to time. This is out of print. Still. Uh, no Blu-ray on this that I know of. Uh, Coonskin. That's uh, Bakshi at his most controversial. Uh, we got another controversial Bakshi film coming up. That's what he was known for. Uh, Dinosaur. Another... Disney film that got completely forgotten about. I'm sure Disney doesn't want to remember this one because the animation doesn't hold up too well. But at the time, it was a spectacle. Dragon's Lair, obviously based on the old game. That's an interactive DVD. Ah, nostalgia. So I grew up watching DuckTales and loved it. I loved all the Disney afternoon stuff, as you could imagine as a kid growing up in the 90s. This came out around the same time as Aladdin and has so many things in common. So they find a lamp, they get wishes, and out comes this guy, Kablooey! Um, so many fond memories of this. I absolutely love this movie. It's got such an Indiana Jones kind of tinge to it in the first half of the movie. Love this one. Very nostalgic. So many fond memories. Had this on VHS as a kid. Uh, love it. I really need Tiny Toons, How I Spent My Summer Vacation. Used to watch that incessantly on my VHS that I had back in the day to the point where it wore out. And uh, really need to get that. Eight Crazy Nights, you know, a Hanukkah movie, Adam Sandler, really good. Don Hertzfeld animated stuff, really cool. This is awesome right here. This is Kihachiro Kawamoto, his stop motion animation from the 60s and 70s. Japanese stop motion, which is remarkable stuff. Really mythologically based, uh, how do I say, um, very culturally defined stuff here. I've seen The Demon. I've seen a few of these, and they're all short and fantastic and to the point. Great stop motion. Love this collection. I'm sure this is out of print. If not, it will be one day. Mr. Fox. Fantastic Mr. Fox. That's a Wes Anderson film I haven't seen that I do need to see. This is um, Rankin and Bass Archive Collection. Recently got a blue and a really wonderful film. Uh, very fantastical and um, didn't see it as a kid but as an adult I, I have and it's really good Fritz Ca- Fritz the Cat this is another controversial Bakshi film everybody knows the per- perverted little kitty cat there that just wants some pussy G.I. Joe the movie love this grew up with it uh, another one I grew up with oh my god one of my favorites guys Love this movie. Very poignant, even as a kid to me, with the father and son relationship that I could have, I I related to. And, uh, you know, getting older and not thinking your dad's cool anymore, all that kind of stuff. It it plays on those ideas so well. And uh, it's got uh, Pauly Shore, the leaning tower of Cheesa. Stand out above the crowd, even if you gotta shout out loud. That's right, baby. DC movies here. Gumby the movie grew up with that. It's a Ray Bradbury written um, 80s animated Halloween special. Really cool. I watched it last Halloween, actually. A couple Halloweens ago. Heavy Metal 2000. Not as good as the original, but not bad. It's kind of fun. Hellboy, the animated movies. I haven't seen them, but I do want to because I like the Hellboy films. This is pretty bad. Hercules and Cena animated movie. Ugh. Hey Arnold the movie. Love it. Love the original series that I have here and it's upside down for some reason because I'm a moron. Ugh, they don't make shows like that anymore, folks. Uh, Shows that teach you something about what life is really like and what it's like to grow up. Cartoons nowadays don't approach that level of competency Um, and in teaching children how to interact with the world and just great messages in every episode. I miss Nickelodeon and the old 90s cartoons. The Hobbit. I actually love this movie, to be honest. And um, it's on par for me with Peter Jackson's first Hobbit movie. This is better than the other two. But I uh, really love Rankin and Bass's The Hobbit. Um, really cool animation. Really cool music, too, and songs. Ice Age, the illusionist French uh, animated film there. 
Iron Giant. You just know this one's going to be remade as a CG fest at some point, which I'm not really against, to be honest, as long as they... Uh, it might even be a live-action and CG movie. But, uh, yeah, that's probably what it'll be. But this holds up remarkably well. Doesn't need to be remade. This is perfect as it is. Uh, Vin Diesel as the voice of the Iron Giant. Really, really touching stuff. Um, always gets me. Always pulls on the heartstrings. Jetsons, the movie. Grew up with this one as well. Watched this over and over. Because I grew up watching reruns of the show. And the movie just... Um, really set my imagination on fire. I'm afraid to watch it now because I just feel like it's not going to be as good. It's one of those situations and I don't want the memories tainted. Talking about the DreamWorks films, pre-Shrek, these are the hand-drawn ones. Joseph, King of Dreams, they did a lot of biblical stories, which I really dug. Um, I still dig those movies. I think they're really cool. Uh, DC movies there, a few. Coming down here, a couple more Justice League movies. Got a bunch of those. I do enjoy those. Much better than the Justice League um, movies that are coming out today. The animated stuff is ten times better than the live action. The King and I, very forgotten animated film from the late 90s. Some really shitty Kong movie that looks bad, but I gotta see it because it's Kong. Land Before Time movies, I do have the original on Blu-ray. I grew up watching these movies. Not all of them, but probably the first three or four. Rip. Oh, everything, everything's falling. Oh, oh God, everything fell. Legend of Robin Hood, some obscure 70s animation. Oh, this one. I grew up watching this one. I, I caught it on TV one day when I was very young at my grandma's house. And I didn't know of Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe at, before this. And it totally captured my imagination. The, I will never forget them walking into the closet and going into a new world you know um it's something that i did in my old closets we had big closets in my old house big old closets and i used to just imagine that there's a world beyond all the clothes and all the boxes my sister and i would would always go into the closet and well that doesn't sound right such fond memories and imagery that i'll never ever forget I haven't watched this in years but i really do want to i i'm sure it holds up pretty well Looney Tunes back in action. Joe Dante. I remember being really excited for this movie because it was, you know, it reminded me of Space Jam and it was sort of that same sort of thing. Spiritual successor. I like it. Um, maybe not as much as Space Jam, but still really good. Marco Polo Return to Xanadu. I got some weird animation here, guys. I, this looks colorful and interesting. It's probably really bad, but I still have it, so that's neat. Obscure. I love obscure animation. Some Mickey stuff, Mickey and the Beanstalk. I love these classic short film collections here that they put out. Uh, Moon Man. I picked this one up at like a, yeah, I think it was Dollar Tree or something, Dollar Store, of Dollar General. Uh, looked interesting, so wanted to check that one out. The Mummy Animated. This is based off the old TV show that they did, short-lived. Um, not expecting much from it. My Little Pony, the movie. That's right. I'm not a brony or anything, but like I said, 80s animation. Sign me up. Always, always I'm going to pick that stuff up when it's hand-drawn and from the 80s. Oliver and Company. One of the Disney films I don't have on blue. Need, need it on blue. Osmosis Jones. Such an underrated flick. This film is out of print on DVD. Uh, Bill Murray, Chris Rock, animation slash live action. Really cool. It's sort of like uh, Fantastic Voyage where, you know, you see, like, arteries and uh, all in animated animated form, of course. And you see the inner workings of the human body and how it's affecting Bill Murray's character as the, uh, you know, they're trying to fight off a disease or a virus. I forget which, what it is. Really cool concept. Awesome movie. Page Master. Macaulay Culkin coming off of Home Alone. Christopher Lloyd coming off of Back to the Future. Loved this movie as a kid, going to different uh, different stories and different types of stories and horror story and you know really cool, really cool movie that I have fond memories of. Haven't seen it in years. Like I would like to upgrade to Blu-ray on this one. Weird stuff here. Peter and the Wolf, uh, Phantom Tollbooth. Uh, such fond memories of this one. I used to rent this from the library. That's right. I used to rent it on VHS from the library, my local Peabody Library. It was called and. Uh, I rented this one over and over and over, and I absolutely loved it. I loved the idea of it starting live action, and then he goes into this cartoon world. I may have seen this before Roger Rabbit, to be honest. And, uh, yeah, I had to pick up the archive collection. Watching it as an adult isn't quite as exciting. You, you learn that it's, like, very 
educational at points, you know, and uh, I didn't really pick up on that as a kid, but still some creepy moments that, you know, always gave me nightmares and stuck with me. The Phantom Toll Booth, based on a children's book. Cool stuff. Haven't seen Pink Floyd's The Wall, I know. Believe it or not, I haven't seen it. Pixar's short films. These are always fun collections. The Polar Express. Not a huge fan of the Polar Express, but it's a Christmas classic to some extent. Uh, the animation <laughs> gets more and more uncanny as time goes by. Uh, Powerpuff Girls, the movie. Big fan of Powerpuff Girls. I grew up with those Cartoon Network shows like Cow and Chicken and Johnny Bravo and Powerpuff Girls and uh, Dexter's Lab, all that stuff. Prince of Egypt, again, another DreamWorks biblical story here. Beautifully hand-drawn. Great story, great music, great movie. Another forgotten 90s animated movie nobody talks about. Saw this when it came out as a kid with the family. I remember really liking it. Sort of a King Arthur animated film based on the legends. Return of the King, more uh, Rankin and Bass. I think Rankin and Bass. Did they outsource this one? Yeah, they directed this one. Return of the King. Sort of closing out the... I think they did, yeah, Lord of the Rings, which was done by Bakshi. And then we got The Hobbit, and then we got Return of the King, both by Rankin and Bass. El Dorado, more DreamWorks that nobody talk about, nobody talks about that are really good animated flicks. Fun action adventure flicks. Highly recommend this one. Great voice cast in this. Moving on, Rocket Doodle. Don Bluth, I haven't seen this one in ages. Saw it as a kid. Scanner Darkly, uh, Keanu Reeves film that I thought I was going to love, and I feel like I should love. Uh, Philip K. Dick's story, I love his stories, I've, I've read quite a few of them, love the movies that his, or love the, the movies that are based on his stories, but man, I couldn't get into this one. Uh, I think I was expecting more of a sci-fi action sort of thing, so I think going into it uh, with a new outlook will definitely change my opinion on it. This is a Linklater film, and I do like his movies. Secret of Nim, Don Bluth, didn't grow up with that one. Saw that a couple years ago for the first time. Really good film. I know I would have enjoyed this one as a kid. Sinbad, nobody talks about this one either. More DreamWorks. <laughs> so many so many DreamWorks hand-animated films that no one talks about anymore. They've been making great animated movies for decades. And uh, this is one of them, Sinbad. I, I love the Sinbad stories. Look at that shot. Oh, it's just so cool. Brad Pitt plays Sinbad. Action adventure, animation at its finest. Really like the movie. Snoopy and... Meo querido carnier niño. <laughs> Butchered that. I believe this is that's Portuguese. And this is from the heart. Uh, I picked it up because it's... Yeah, I forget what it's called. From the heart, an old... Live action animation Disney film that this does have the English track, hence why I picked it up. It was like a buck. Uh, Space Ace, one of those, dig another DVD, interactive DVD thing. More DreamWorks, Spirit. Haven't seen this one. Interested in it though. Spirit, uh, Stallion of the Cimarron. Kurt Russell, I think, voices in that. Got some Star Wars stuff here. Uh, Ewoks, droids. Not very good, but awesome to have as a Star Wars fan and collector of all the movies and stuff. Clone Wars, haven't seen these yet. A friend of mine swears by them. I think uh, Jendi Tartovsky, uh, the guy who did Powerpuff Girls and, and Samurai Jack, Jendi Tartakovsky, something like that. He did these, and I am interested in them for that reason. I love Samurai Jack and Powerpuff Girls. Star Chaser, talk about an obscure animated film, man. Uh, this is a Star Wars ripoff uh, from the 80s. Uh, 85 and it's a really well executed animated film i concur with evil robots a wise cracking intergalactic smuggler sound familiar han solo <laughs> a heroic youth sound familiar luke skywalker and a beautiful princess sound familiar <laughs> princess leia more dc animated films superman batman shazam superman batman lamb team america love may uh may parker matt parker Trey Stone, just mix those two names up. It's Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Team America, America. F yeah. Titan AE, love this, love this movie. Save for the damn soundtrack. Some of those songs, a cosmic castaway. Hate that shit. I remember it, so it's memorable, but I, it drives me nuts. I hate that 
some of the some of the vocal songs they have in this. But Titan A.E., man, this is a film that no one talks about. Don Bluth, of course. Joss Whedon actually helped on the script here. He helped on a lot of animated films in the 90s and early 2000s, Toy Story being one of them. Titan A.E., check it out. Sci-fi animation, action film, really cool stuff. Don Bluth, one of the last animated films he did. This is an example of blending animation with CG in a really effective way. Something we don't see too often anymore. Hand-drawn and CG together. And it could be a match made in heaven if done right. And Titan A is an example of that. So is um, Treasure Planet, the Disney film, which does a fantastic job of that as well. Atlantis. Uh, some of those movies just look beautiful. I'm so upset that they have almost all but ditched hand-drawn animation in cinema. It breaks my heart. Triplets of Belleville, haven't seen this. Another French film. I've had this sealed. I bought it at a grocery store stop and shop in Connecticut when I was probably like 15. So I've had this for about 15 years sealed. Yeah, I'm insane. I know. Vikram... I don't even know how to pronounce that. Batal? Vikram Batal? It's apparently an old um, Indian tale. Uh, so I, I picked this up because, again, Indian animation? Yes, please. Waking Life, more trippy Link Ladder about out-of-body experiences and philosophy. It's wonderful. I am a, I am a reader of philosophy, so I, it resonates with me. Wallace and Gromit movies I've seen none of, but I have to see because I hear it's some of the best animation films ever. Timeless Tales, talked about this one recently. Waltz with Bashir, this is a very serious and adult and dark animated film. Uh, We're Back, saw this one. When it came out, remember renting it, remember really enjoying it, too. Uh, sort of reminded me of uh, Land Before Time. This one was, I think, produced by Spielberg, at least. Yeah, produced by Spielberg. And it's about some dinosaurs going to the big city, and uh, yeah, that's all I remember about it. So, one day I want to check it out, because we're back. What a, what a relic of the 90s, huh? What's this one? Wrinkles. It's about old people. 